So I have this animation where I have a little setup here. Let me explain what's going on. In fact, I'm going to label them a little bit better, but I have some circles that turn and they turn at separate times. So you can see the bottom one is the green one and it turns from frame one to 50. It spins, it rotates. And then the blue one will rotate as well, but it starts on frame 55. And over the course of the next three tutorials, we're going to learn how to make um, animations stop and we're going to add some buttons to them. So right now, if I play this movie, so I just did a control enter, or you can go to control test or movie. This loops as it is right now, but what if I want it to stop at the end? So right now it just keeps playing. It does the green one and then it does the blue one. So now it starts over with green, but I want it to stop at the end. So I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to call this actions. <clears throat> so we're coding in a language called action script and to tell it, you want it to stop on frame 105. I'm going to add a blank keyframe. So I need to say, Hey, I need something to do something on frame 105. And I'm going to tell you what that is in a minute. So it's a hollow circle that's on this frame. That's a blank keyframe. And we are coding in a language called Action Script 3.0. So I need to go to a box where I can type in some Action Script. And there's a couple different ways to do that. If I go to Window, I can go to Actions. I actually like the keyboard shortcut F9 to do that. Um, so either one would work. But I need to get to this Action panel. And it gives me a place where I can type some things in. Now, sometimes the code is a little bit longer, but this one I have memorized. I'm also going to place the code in the description for this tutorial. So if you'd rather copy and paste code, you can copy and paste code. But to make the movie stop, I'm on that blank keyframe because I want it to stop right there. And the code is stop, all, all lowercase letters, a set of parentheses, no space in between or anything, and a semicolon, the dot comma. And now it, as soon as I added that, it turned blue, the word stop turned blue. I'm going to close out of this actions box. So I'm going to click on the close and I can see that there's a little a on frame 105 and that stands for, I put action script right here. If your action script went someplace else, it's going to stop wherever you put it. So wherever that little a is on the frame. So if your action script is showing up on frame one, it's going to start, um, the movie's going to stop on frame one. So it'll never move forward to frame two and play because it's stopping. So if something is weird, check that out and you can move it. So like, if you don't like it being on frame one, you can click and hold and you can move the stop action. Like you move anything else, um, to this last frame, frame one Oh five. So just to test it out, I'm going to do control enter. Plays through the green and then it plays through the blue. They look like eyes. I didn't intend for them to look like eyes, but they do look like eyes. And the movie stops. It doesn't loop again. I can hit enter and it'll start all over. So that's how you make a movie stop someplace or, and, and it doesn't have to be at root. You can make a movie stop anywhere, but you have to put in that code. So the code one more time, I just hit F9 to get to the actions panel is stop, a set of parentheses and a semicolon.